Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Dr. Ace video. Today we're going to be playing MotoGP 18, and in the hot seat today is Lorenzo Dalla Porta, the Italian, the winner of the Misano Grand Prix in the Moto3 class. Without further ado, let's just get into it. So as the tension rises for the Moto3 riders, as the concentration levels increase, during the warm-up lap, I wanted to take this time out to say thank you to all you guys who have subscribed to my channel. 100 subscribers, it's not much in some people's eyes. Maybe the big YouTubers are, I'm small fry, of course I am. But for me, that's a bit of an achievement. I wanted to achieve 100 subscribers, I obviously want to get more. But for the time being, I'm still very happy with that. I'm very, very grateful. So thank you to you all who have subscribed and stuck around. Um, thank you for watching my videos. And thank you for leaving comments and likes and dislikes. It all helps me out and helps, all gives me some confidence and some incentive to continue doing what I do. So for that, I thank you. And by thanking you, I'm going to demonstrate how Lorenzo Della Porta is going to come from the back of the grid and try and make his way onto the podium. I said I'd demonstrate it, but... Well... Let's see how it goes. I can't convince... I'm, you know, I'm not convinced I'm going to do it, but... Uh, oh well, let's give it a bash. It's been a while since I used the Moto3 bikes, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I do know if you use the rear brake too much, you will fly off. So I need to be very careful here. But breaking into turn one, we were into a fifth gear there, and we're going to slide the brakes on here. We're going to... Oh, is that Dennis Foggia? Oh, it's Nicola... What's Nicola Bula doing in the back of the grid? Oh, what? What have I just done? I'm just taking out one of the Italian riders. My goodness. That is totally my fault. Oh, my goodness. I'm all over the place. We're back in the boat. GP bikes, boys. So, very difficult start so far for the Leopard Honda rider. Is it Honda still or is it KTM? I can't remember. Let me know in the comments below. But I'm going to squeeze up on the inside. Am I going to push? Oh, I've just used him as an absolute buffer. What am I doing? This is not me. Why am I taking everyone out? So we're going to try and get the inside. Well, I was going to say the inside. Well, I'm going to the inside of anyone going wide there. So Kato Tober is ahead of me. And this bike has zero acceleration. Are we dead last again? What on earth is going on? This bike literally... It's not even moving. <laughs> Have we taken damage? Because it doesn't feel like it's got any any gall, any gumption. Ooh, that's a late breaking manoeuvre. That's not going to stick. Oh, what? Why did the riders fall off so easy in this one? What has happened? I never used to. You can see this the slightest tap and they go arse over the tip. What's going on? That needs fixing. I found this online as well with the, with the damage. It's just terrible. If you do happen to take a little bit of damage from anyone slamming into the side of you, into the back of you, or you accidentally hit someone... I mean, why has he crashed? What is going on? Are we, ri are we riding on butter? And he's gone down! Oh, and I've gone down! Oh my god. I'm going to replay that because I just want to see what happened. Okay, I tapped the rear wheel and then... Oh yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, actually, since I've, used, I've never used the rewind feature before, but... I'm just curious to see whether I can even do this because I'm not even sure I can at this point. So I have kind of cheated there, but I just wanted to get a video. <laughs> That's like, oh, oh, oh no, oh my god! You know what? Sod it. Let's rewind it. Forget it ever happened. Oh my goodness! What on earth was that? Oh, oh my goodness, he's gone down again. <laughs> I've got the uh, the difficulty on Extreme, and they aren't kidding on this MotoGP game. It's probably the worst MotoGP game for me to record, to be honest with you, because everyone falls off, everyone is an absolute menace. They, they, if they see a gap, they just go for it. You know, in some of the past games, they weren't ever really like that. They, could, they would only go for a... They would only go for the opportunity if, if there was one there. They wouldn't try and force you out wide. I mean, like that, for example. It, it, it's There's a lot of problems with this year's game, unfortunately. Why is he trying to ram me off the track? I don't even know if I'll be able to keep on, because... 
where Andre Nino is trying to back to me out of the way. So, and for this one, I'm going to use the replays just to see how how the AI reacts because this is uh, this is one of the latest updates that's doing this. It's a bit of a shame. I'm not going to lie. And there's been another crasher in the background. Oh no, it's Jorge Martin. My goodness. Well, he should have crashed in the Grand Prix when Bezeki did. I mean, how he didn't crash when he was so close behind Marco Bezeki was unbelievable. But also, as well, just to point out, Marco Bezeki in that Mazzano Grand Prix, he can't keep throwing points away. You know, he did it in Le Mans, he's done it here, and uh, he did it another place as well. I can't think of the top of my head. But here we are. So this is obviously going to be a moral victory if I do actually end up getting somewhere. I think someone's just gone down behind me again, so... They've gone really floaty light in this game for some reason, and it's kind of weird. It's funny in a sense because obviously you see a lot of carnage. A lot of, uh... A lot of crashes, I mean... Oh, what am I doing? I'm going wide! Oh, I've got a warning. I've got a warning. If I do that again, I'm going through the pits. I'll be hanging the leathers up to say goodnight. Jesus. Can't allow that to happen. So, Delaforce now makes his way up into turn 8. Look at that being barged out of the way from Marco Ramira. Marco Mazzecchi and Nicola Antonelli and Philip Erdl are scrapping and jostling for fourth place. It's Fabio Di Giantonio and Enea Bassini. Right up there. So, nothing really happening currently. I'm going to try and get through on Marco Ramirez, Ramirez somehow. So we're going to the pass part of the second of the corners. Turn to turn 12. I'm not sure this is going to work. Uh, it didn't work. <laughs> I just took him out. Well, that was totally my fault. Ooh, tap the rear brake a little bit too much there. I'm just going to see how much people we can actually take off now because I, I didn't realise it was ever going to be that easy just to knock someone off the bike. Which is a great shame, really, because I mean, thankfully I've got the um, I've got the platinum trophy for this because I've, I've done all the online trophies, etc., and all well, everything else. So thankfully I won't need to play online unless it's with my good friend Kyle. Um, oh, what a move! What a move! Oh, and he stayed on as well. Nice. I like that. Um, it would be an absolute nightmare to play online though, because if if the bike if the riders can fall off that easily and that quickly. I think online's going to be a bit of a nightmare, I'm not going to lie. I mean, it already was in some instances, but oh my goodness, I just, yeah, that was totally my fault. Yep, totally my fault. I made a pig's ear of that corner. And I just took out Tatsuki Suzuki. I do apologise. So we've got the Scott in front of us. John McPhee, the winner of Bruno a few years ago, was it? I do believe he's a Grand Prix winner. Might have been Austin, Texas, I'm not entirely sure. But we have, we have had a Grand Prix win from that man there. So, we aren't going to get onto the podium, even with the aid and use of the replay function. Uh, it just didn't come to fruition today. Not for us. So, we've still got motor to... Oh, what am I doing? What? I, how did I get away with that? I, I totally lost concentration. Uh, we've still got Motor 2 and we've still got Motor GP to come. So, starting off. Well, I'm going to do them all in Mazzano as well. Something I'm going to try and keep up with is I'm going to try and uh, follow a video with every Grand Prix. So, the next Grand Prix is Aragon. So, I will do a video for Aragon with the three race victories. So, have it, whoever takes the victors. Oh, who is, who is the victor, should I say? Oh my god! John McPhee! I don't know if that was my fault or if you actually just genuinely crashed them. But this, this, this battle between. Uh, oh, it's Rodrigo and Jakob Kornfiles crashed out. It is indeed Gabriel Rodrigo. Now, Gabriel Rodrigo was superb in, in the race in Mazzano. He was really good. I had him picked to uh, take the victory at, at one point. But sadly for him, that didn't happen. And I've gone wide into turn 8 into Quirchi. Oh my goodness. That's the same corner that Jorge Lorenzo met his demise. Oh my goodness. Jorge Martinez caught us already. 
try and get the oh, I'm not gonna try and get the inside I can't be able to get oh, I have compromised all my exit speed. Martin's gonna take me for seventh here. Gonna have eighth place. I'm not sure if we can get oh it's gonna be tight. We're gonna use everything we can to turn eleven and twelve in the fastest section of the of the track. Oh there's been another crash here. Oh and it's ahead of me, it's Nicolo Antonelli. So this is now a scrap for six. It looks like a I'm pretty good into the final corner. Now the final corner is a, is a hope, hot spot overtake for me. I said that completely wrong. <laughs> Overtaking hot spot for me. Here we go. I'm going to go through. I'm not going to go through. Oh, I can. Yes, I've got the drive. Yes. Taking sixth place with style. So, that concludes the first race. The first video of three uploads I am attempting to do today. Not too bad. Sixth place. Replays were on. Carnage. Excitement. Tension. You had it all. So, for a 100 subscriber video, I'm going to say, damn fine job indeed. So, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. The next video should be up soon. Fingers crossed. Speak to you soon, guys. Ciao.